What's up, everybody? It's your favorite pushback delivery date's favorite nerd, and today we are looking at the long-awaited, highly anticipated Fans Toys Scoria, or as you may know him, G1 Dinobot Slag. He is worth the wait. Good unit. No big issues. A couple small little nitpicks, but, I mean, really outstanding. I mean, the chrome is, is just, I can see it, like, glistening in the camera screen. It's, I'm so nostalgic right now. It gives me that feeling of being a kid and getting my first Dinobot toy. Like, it, it's that feeling. It's not without its, you know, its issues. It's not complete perfection, but it's pretty close. It might be impossible to be perfect, but this is definitely... <clears throat> it's definitely the, the best Transformer I've gotten this year. I can say that. It is my favorite Transformer toy I've gotten this year. Let's take a... Let's take a look at him. First impressions right out of the box is he's huge! giant unit he feels monstrous like you know it almost feels like a combiner you know just the size and like the the limbs hanging off your hand just you kind of give you that that throwback feeling uh just a toy being far bigger than what you expected and even though you saw pictures so yeah let's take a look at uh just kind of go from top to bottom because i don't i don't even know how to approach this thing um being as though it, it is so good so let's talk a little bit about the accessories. This is what comes with it, right? Um, with the exception of, uh, you know, one of these dumb things and these cards. And then uh, the instructions, which are actually really well done. Um, so you get an alternate head, and then you get alternate faces for each. Um, so, and then you get a gun and a sword. We're going to go into that when we talk about the, 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 the figure himself. And you get these... Um, which we'll talk about when we get to, to Grimlock size comparisons. So let's just deal with this for the time being. So there's four screws here, and you take the screws out. Okay. Okay, so you got to this point. You have to be careful, always be careful when you're taking apart a head. And then you can take this piece out. Also, be forewarned, the visor will fall out as well. It's a, it'll, you know, it just ends up being a loose piece that's sitting in there. So, you know, whenever you're taking things apart, just be mindful of where everything is and, and all that kind of stuff. And then do your replacement face. Snap this back together. As a, I, I tried to use this face and I could I couldn't get it to work so they that's probably why you get the whole head sculpt is because the the framing of the the helmet is specific to the face so keep that in mind and then I'm just gonna screw this back on and I used a number zero Phillips screwdriver articulation wise heads on a ball joint uh, it is greatly impeded by all of the you know the the plastic here um, the chrome, there's chrome paint on the visor, which is done brilliantly. It's it's really nice, solid plastic. And um, you can see here on the back, there's four screws, and that's how you interchange the face that I just showed you. The only thing I would have liked is more like the the sound wave way they went about it with the, the hinged swivel. I kind of think that gets all the articulation you need, and you don't have... The, uh, this impediment, but I understand that you know you had to tuck the head in. And there's a lot to think about, but you know the you can't get them to. I love when transformers can look down, you know, so it makes them feel a little bit larger than what they are. And I don't know, you can't do that with this guy, but it's it's still, you know, you still get full side to side, a little back and forth, and a you know a little bit up and but just not much down. Arms, we got ratcheted universal joints at the shoulder. They ratchet in and out. And then it's just a swivel um, all around. Now mine, this one's a tad loose. You know, it'll hold, but she's a tad loose. Um, we got a elbow, which gets you past 90 degrees, looks like, just barely. Um, there's a wrist kind of hinge and then swivel. Um, and then the hand itself, each finger is articulated at two knuckles. Um, you can see the, the pins, one there and then one there on each finger. And they're all individually articulated, so you, know, you can do that. Um, 
and then the thumb is just on this ball joint. I, I'm not a big fan of that, but I, I mean, it's the it's the status quo. So it's definitely not less than anything. It comes with this sword. Um, this supposedly it, this lights up the light up feature and whatever. I, I don't put batteries in my toys. I've just had some really bad experiences in my life with that, so I I, I don't do it. But uh, but yeah, th supposedly this will light up. I, you know, I'll take their word for it. I'm, I'm not going to have them in robot mode anyway. But my big complaint with this is that, um, if you can see, I'm already getting a little bit of chrome paint chippage there. Um, but, you know, all in all, I mean, it's a, it's a great sculpt on the, on the sword. Nice detailing and line work and so forth. But because of the, the hilt, it mine doesn't fit in great into this hand. I'm going to try it on the other hand when we get there. This accessory, we got the gun. Mine is a little... You see that? I mean, it's not a big deal. But, you know, not perfect either, is it? So, that's a little... It's stuff like this that's a little disappointing. Um, but let's try not to let it ruin our day. Chest. Uh, you know, I think this is... I think that it feels like there's there's definitely die cast in the pelvis here. It feels like there's more die cast, but this might be a really just hard, hard plastic. It's hard to really tell, but uh, yeah, we got a perfect place for an Autobot symbol there. Um, T2RX6, I think, has already applied his, so yeah. We got good line work here. We got some paint accents, and that's actually a light gray and then a dark gray, so it's two different colors, which is, you know, it's just little things like that that I appreciate. Waist swivel. Nice and tight. Um, ratcheted, it feels like. Yep, ratcheted. Um, we have universal joints. Ratcheted forward and back, but not out. Um, for the hips, uh, we have a thigh swivel. We have a knee, which gets you a little bit past 90 degrees. And even got a little bit of an ankle tilt here. So, you know, articulation's pretty top-notch. Also... It's got all these like little gizmo bits in here behind this clear plastic, which is nice. And then this kind of green painted accent. And it feels like it's a glossy or metallic even paint in there. It's just a lot of nice details. One of the nice things is I feel like every time I, 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 I play with them a little bit, I, I find out something new about them. But like the wings here, so to speak, are, are hinged um, right there. Um, so you can, you know, you can adjust them a bit. You know, for your for your liking, so it's kind of nice. When he comes in the box, he comes with his tail down like this. You can just fold the tail up; it tucks away pretty nicely in there. And then you have a little bit of a backpack, but that is not hateful at all. What's a figure like this without some size comparisons? Quake Wave, beautiful figure, and as you can see, starting to look like a little fella. There he is with MP10. Nice size. Size is up perfectly. There he is with Ratchet. Eye Gear's, uh, I don't know, medical specialist or whatever. I can't wait to have uh, Masterpiece Wheeljack and, and the Dinobots finished and put them with, uh, you know, put Ratchet and Wheeljack with the Dinobots. And there he is with my G1 Slag. Um, who's seen better days? And you can tell when I was a, when I was a young fella. I got a little hungry on his little, uh, horns there a bit. But, you know, look at that. Pretty awesome. Okay, last but not least, and for all the drama, there he is next to Grimlock. Now Grimlock is looking a little, little small, and I gotta say, um, we're gonna go, we're gonna talk about the shoes a little bit. Grimlock is the one that is wrong, not Slag. Slag is on the money. Grimlock is too small. You know, Prime is taller than Grimlock there. You know? Not by much, but he is. Grimlock should be taller. So, he is too small to fit in. But it's not that he's too big, it's that he's too small. So to put on Grimlock's high heels, Get his feet lined up right. It's very complicated. 
there's a uh, this little wedge here, and that wedges right in there like that, and then this one in there like that, and voila. And then after you get that squared away, it ends up looking like that. And people are you know crying about the the high heels, but I don't think they're bad looking. I, I, I don't even necessarily notice them all. I mean, if I'm looking at them, then yeah, okay, I definitely see them. But, like, if I'm not looking at them, I just take it... You know, I don't even think you, you look really down there. There's, like, there's just so much beauty in this general area that, like, you're like, what's going on up here? Not so much notice about down here. What's going on up here? You know what I mean? It's nice. Okay, so transformation-wise, he's actually really intuitive. Um... And a lot of fun. I, I love the transformation on this guy. It's kind of reminiscent of G1. It's kind of reminiscent of MP Grimlock. It just it feels right. Because of his size and my arm length, and I, I got decent size arms, average size. Don't make a big deal about it. All right. Um, I'm going to do it kind of piece by piece, okay? So uh, start with the hands. Um, tuck the fingers in. They are on those double joints. So... You know, any time that their fingers are like that, always be mindful because they're easy to break. Underneath is this compartment. Open it up, tuck the hand in, flip it down, good to go. You can straighten out the arm. You push it in just a little bit. Doesn't take much. Same on the other side. Tuck. You can tuck the thumb in, tuck the fingers in. Open up the compartment, tuck the hand in, close it up, straighten it out, push it in, just takes a little bit, you can see it, it almost feels like you don't got it, and you do. Next is the head. Oh, this piece of mine is really tight, but you're kind of trying to grab this silver piece here, um, bring it down, All right. and then open up the black piece there so you have two pieces hanging out tuck the head in close one close the other good to go open up the mouth you can also see there's a port in there you know um, right in that black piece to zoom in where I'm sure it's to plug in some effect later on down the line either by them or by some other fourth party, fifth party, party, sixth party company. Okay, next is the legs. So, I'm going to try to do my best I can to show you. Um, there's this piece here, and then, there, I'll do it like that. That piece opens up in the front. This piece opens up in the back. What this does is it gives that little bit of clearance in there to spin this middle bit out. Okay, and then once that part's out, you can close this up and close the other two up. Theoretically, yeah, and you're good to go. Um, so, from that point, you have this uh, other Triceratops leg, so you can put that on the side if you want to kind of mimic the G1 um, dinosaur mode. You know, it's up to you. I mean, robot mode, it's up to you. Um, so, once again, open the front part, open the back part, gives you the clearance, spin this out. Close this up. Oh, close that up. Close that up. And bring this out. So now you've got both of the, the side bits out so you can see how that would G1 it up. Um, this part is really cool. These two just kind of accordion up. And then the same on, on that side. And that's actually the most involved piece of the transformation in general really in my opinion and you know what's what's cool about it is that like it's complicated it's a little bit of you know there's a there's a few steps involved but it's far simpler than mp grimlock's leg bit of business you know where there are all those hinges and swivels everywhere and it's kind of hard to figure out what goes where and what goes what so the next thing you do is kind of like g1 grimlock or uh masterpiece grimlock where you you pull the legs and you, um the hips, rather, and then bring them down like that. Okay, so it kind of gives you that that slender a beach bod. Then you want to turn it so that the triceratops feet are facing in, 
and you do kind of like with MP Grimlock and fold them up like this. And then you just make sure that it's all kind of lined up. Um, there you go. And boom. So you can, you can kind of see how everything's going to happen from here. So that's what we have so far laid out flat. You accordion out this, uh, this whole back piece here. Um, it's got hinges up in there, hinged up, an accordion back, and that covers this gap, and it brings this down and kind of cleans everything up. As you're doing that, you're bringing down the, the rib cage bits, you know, and there's a series of tabs that you kind of want to fall into place as you go. And then you use uh, the tail, uh, which you also kind of you. Uh, it seems like there should be like a trigger mechanism, but I can't find it. And you pull that out so that it extends the tail. And there's like a little notched out piece in the hole. It doesn't really click, um, but if you got everything tabbed up right, you'll know it. Like I do not. And what this is from is from lining up the hips properly. There you go. All right, and then lastly, <clears throat> you got to get the crest right. So fold in the, uh, what you call the horns, accordion this up. These are double hinged, and mine is really tight over there, and with all that chrome, kind of stresses me out a little bit. And then same on this side, is that one actually fits much better. And then... Bring her back down, and she's good to go. Same thing with this one. We got articulation going on. We got the same ratcheted shoulders, and then the same elbows, and uh, a little bit of in out there on the back thighs, and then we got a little bit of articulation, but not much there, and nothing on the, the toes. And then we got the tail two-piece. Now, I know that when this tail comes out, there's something to do with this button here. But mine, I don't know if it's not acting 100% right or if I jammed it up because I just pulled it out the first time I transformed it. First couple times, actually. And I got a little scratch there on my chrome. But, um, but you know, it still works like a champ. still holds in both places. It's just I think it's spring-loaded and it feels like it's spring-loaded and I don't, I don't feel like mine's activating. Um, nice chrome here. Nice detailing G1-esque hair on the sides. You know, all these little accents could maybe use a little bit more down that area, but really nitpicking at this point. Um, you know, just trying to find something to say about it. Kind of, there, there is kind of a football shape to it. I'm not 100% crazy about, but, you know, at the same time, though, I mean, he is bad. <laughs> like, he looks like he's ready for trouble. I, 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 I mean, I don't know. This is the best toy I've bought all year. Um so far. Also articulation wise it should be noted that his, uh, his mouth opens and closes to you know, pretty good extent and then the horns move about. Mine this one's actually tight now but this one was very loose when I got it out of the box but he's actually it actually feels like it's fixed itself so that's one less thing to worry about. So there he is with the MP Grimlock and, you know, Grimlock's even kind of looking a little small in this mode now. If Fans Toys does a Grimlock, I'm... There's a good chance I'm in at this point. They look, it's just nice to have two together. How long has it been, fellas? And there he is, next to my G1. So, come on. How about that? Okay, to apply the same shoes in dinosaur mode, set yourself up for success. Plug them in together, two pegs, two ports. In the back, there's these two bits here. Kind of try to get them to come down, and then you push them together. The tabs are all interlocking. Get it there. Between the two cannons on his back, plug it in. Good to go. Now, I'm not too crazy about this look. Um, you know, but there is a way to store it. You know, so 
I guess better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. They obviously took some time and care with it, so that is appreciated. So, final thoughts. Um, so far, if you're going to get one Transformer toy this year, get this one. Even my wife has to admit that this feels like something special. So, I guess, yeah, that one's actually pretty cool. Right? So, I think I'm going to keep it. I mean, keep it here. Keep it in the basement. You can come down and no, see no, it whenever I you want. I'm, I'm I mean, gonna keep it. I I bought it, so yeah. And you bought it with my money, so it's Look, mine. Don't, don't don't go that route. You're you're bigger than that. You're better than that. Your money, which, which mine is yours, but yours is mine. Are you gonna start collecting now? That one. You gonna have a little collection? Have a little collection all your own? Nope, just that one. You probably don't even know his name. You just give him back to me. You have what's yours, and, and I get what's mine. I, I'm I'm not even gonna argue it with you. I'm not going to barter with you. I'll trade you for these AOE Dinobots. Oh! My jaw is healing nicely. Get this toy. You know, like if, if you're going to get one, if you're a G1 guy, like, you know, it's, it's, yes, there are some imperfections. Yes, it isn't perfect. Or I guess, no, it isn't perfect. Um, but what is imperfect about it is so easily overlooked due to the weight of the awesomeness. Here's a $15 Orion Pax toy. Um, not that I'm trying to compare the two. But you see on this hand, um, we got a drill here, a drill hole there, and a drill hole there, so that this hand can swivel. On this side, we only get one. So my hand is falling out, and it's lost, and it's probably gone forever. Um, this, to me, I... I, like, I'm far from rich, okay? Like, you know, but I have more buyer's remorse for this $15 than I do for this $200. Tony does the hand deserve to stand next to him. So, Monday, uh, we will have Transformers 4 Age of Extinction spoiler free review. And I think Wednesday is Warbitron Brawl. So, we got some big stuff coming up. Uh, check back with me. Love you guys. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Till next time, take care. <laughs>